Eddie, I'd like to just talk to you a little bit about how we're looking for life beyond Earth, and not just life. Well, we're looking for intelligent life. So let's let's consider how we might do that. I mean, why do we even think there might be aliens out there? And that's kind of encapsulated in in this photograph. This is a Hubble uh, Space Telescope photograph, and it just shows a very very tiny bit of the sky, really quite quite small. And normally, if you looked at that part of the sky, you wouldn't see anything. There are no bright stars. There's not much there. But if you use the Hubble Space Telescope and you make a very long exposure photo, this is what you get. And essentially, everything that you see in this photo is a galaxy. They're not stars. They're big collections of stars, typically 100 billion stars in each galaxy. We can see about, oh, a billion galaxies if we were to take photos all across the sky. And, uh, you know, uh, actually it's more like a trillion galaxies, each with about a hundred billion stars. Well, those numbers are all very big, but the bottom line is, you know, there are that, that number of stars, a one followed by 22 zeros that we can see with our telescopes. We now know that most of those stars have planets. So the number of planets is even more than that number, okay? So, you know, if they're not out there, there must be something very special about Earth. And uh, we don't like to think there's something special about Earth, because that would make us special. Now, I want to say that as an historical matter, the idea of finding life elsewhere is a very old one. I mean, even the, the classical Greeks talked about it. But here's a, an experiment that was actually being done a little over 100 years ago by a very famous astronomer at the time. Uh, this is Percival Lowell. And he's looking through a telescope that he had built for himself. He was a very wealthy guy, and he could build his own observatory, the Lowell Observatory. 